Kristen. We're going to be discussing uh, heart healthy foods today. So, um, if you can hear me loud and clear, give me some love or a thumbs up. Um, so today's if you if you um, are noticing, <laughs> I got some eyeliner. I got into the eyeliner. Wow, did I get? In, I yeah. So I have a lot. Of, I have, I had got some new eyeliner, so it went, I went nuts. Um, and I have this really horrible stomach ache, so we'll see how long this lasts. Um, so anyway, um, I am Amanda Marie, and um, I am an artist and musician who's turned health advocate, and so I am here to share what I've learned on my health journey, and hopefully help you on yours. So um, today, again, we're going to be talking about heart healthy foods, and I almost didn't go live because I was looking online at so much information around um, instances of, of heart disease, and the interesting thing is, you know, not, not everywhere has um, the occurrence of heart disease that we have in this country, and there are also other countries that... Um, are high have high rates and who knows if I even kept half of this stuff open because we, what we are going to focus on is foods um, so the first thing I'm going to say about food that I find interesting is um, that maybe some of you know maybe some of you don't know is that um, high cholesterol is you know that's that's one of the the markers for heart disease and then high blood pressure and you know there's a lot of tests that they can run um, but cholesterol foods with cholesterol are all only animal based there is nothing plant based that has cholesterol our bodies actually make all the cholesterol we need so that's something to keep in mind um, when looking at foods, you know, like if you already have an issue, um, then you will probably want to cut back on animal products. And um, so first I'm going to go to a, a Mayo Clinic article. And this is the first thing they talk about. It's, and of course, as always, I'll put the article in there and um, into the box below in the, the comments. So heart healthy diet, eight steps to prevent heart disease. Um, and first of all, they talk about portion control, which sure, um, if you're, you know, if you're significantly overweight and you're trying to, I don't know, this is the thing with portion control, it can be tough. Um, I would suggest just instead of worrying about your portions as much worry about what you're eating like if you're having something that has cholesterol that's where you want to watch your portions if you're don't worry about eating like fruits and vegetables that's that's gonna be fine like and then because it's funny because number two on their list is eat more fruits and vegetables which I feel like that's a no-brainer but it, it is one of those things that, that people don't always do. They're not always, you know, paying attention to how much they're eating. And it, it can kind of be limitless. If you want to just, especially with, you know, most of the vegetables, there's not, they're not high in calories, especially if you're not, obviously if you put cheese on top of it, you're done. You've, you've, <laughs> you've completely uh, changed what was going on there. But, you know, if you're eating lightly steamed stuff or fresh fruits and vegetables it's kind of limitless how much you you can't overeat them very easily unless you know um, of course there's avocado and stuff like that um, and then select whole grains well now this is another thing so they give a list of whole grain products to choose and they're like whole wheat flour whole grain bread and I, I don't know, I'm on the fence about, I'm actually on the fence about bread, period, because I think that, it, like, if you're eating, like, ultra-sprouted bread or something like that, that's probably, that's one thing, but it is, 
It can spike your blood sugar. It has a lot of sugar in it. Sugar is something that they're linking to heart disease too because it causes issues. It causes weight gain. It causes us to, um, you know, store a lot of empty, when you eat empty calories, you're storing it. So they're finding that sugar is a, is a really big deal, uh, even over, you know, fat. Okay, well, it's not good to, like, overeat a bunch of saturated fat either, obviously. And that's recently they came out with the thing about coconut oil. And it's like, well, coconut oil has some benefits. And, yeah, you don't want to eat a bunch of coke. You don't want to, like, sit there with a spoon and eat up your coconut oil. That's, that's kind of like, yeah, let's not do that. Let me make sure that's muted because we don't need to hear that. Um, so, but they say on this list at Mayo Clinic whole grains, and then after the bread part, they go into brown rice, barley, buckwheat, um, uh, whole grain pasta, okay, um, oatmeal, and then to limit, you know, you're, you're looking at all the refined stuff. You're looking at, um, white bread, donuts, biscuits, all the stuff that tastes good and makes you feel like crap. Um, and then they talk about limiting healthy, uh, unhealthy fats, which we were kind of discussing anyway. Um, so it says that saturated fat, which we are talk we are talking about coconut oil too, and we're in this category, should be less than 7% of your daily calories. And I got a note about <laughs> looking at the camera, which is actually this thing here, because I tend to just, it looks like I'm looking off into space. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at the camera and look at my screen, so if it's weird, yeah, I'm, this is still, I'm still in experiment stage with this whole Facebook Live. Anyway. Um, and then trans fat, which is, those are the fats that, uh, you just don't eat that crap. It's not even food. Uh, it says less than 1%, so let's just stay away from the packaged crap. Margarine shortening, you know, it's just, ugh. They do have margarines out there that are supposed to be better. They, like, promise and all this stuff, but, you know, eh, whatever. I don't, I don't know. Um, if you want to, if you're really addicted to that kind of stuff and you want to step off of it or whatever, try it. Um, fats to choose. Olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, margarine that is trans fat free, which is what I was talking about. Like the, it even mentions it. Benicol, Promise, Smart Balance, nuts, seeds, and avocados. Okay, so that's where I really can jive is the nuts, seeds, and avocados. That isn't processed at all. Um, and then, uh, did I get through this list? No, that's four. Oh, I've got to press next, y'all. Okay. Uh, Low-fat protein options. So th they're going to talk about uh, low-fat dairy, cheese, eggs, fish, skinless protein or poultry, uh, legumes, soybeans, um, and then they talk about soy burgers and tofu, and then lean ground meats. Um, yeah. I'm going to also tell you about some <laughs> additional information that says don't eat any of that that I just mentioned, except for the legumes and the bottom, the latter part, because uh, there are some um, diets out there that specifically talk about not eating any animal products because of the cholesterol and the... Anyway, we'll get into that in a sec. And then it says proteins to limit or avoid completely, full fat, dairy... Um, organ meats, gosh, there's so much conflicting information about all of this stuff. It's so, well, there's not, this is, this is hot dog, sausage, bacon. Don't eat that. We already talked about it in the last one with about the cancer. They are now recognizing it as carcinogenic, so. And honestly, if you look at, at both lists for the cancer, for the, my cancer list as well as this, this heart healthy diet, it's pretty much all the same thing. They're saying eat food, and that's the main thing is eat food. Like, one ingredient. It doesn't even have an ingredients list. It's just like, here, rice, beans, 
cucumbers. You get the point. Sodium. Okay, this is a subject, too, that I'm going to talk about more. Um, my mom actually sent me a private message saying, can you talk about um, hidden sodium in foods, which definitely, that's another one. There's so much salt. And I also mentioned when my friend was here, he was talking about how he had reduced his salt intake, and he had something from a restaurant, and he couldn't believe how salty it was. They're just heavy-handed with the salt in everything, canned foods, um, packaged foods. Um Nitrate, nitrate free. That's that's true with the hot dogs someone just mentioned. My mom actually just mentioned. Um, I'm still not gonna advocate. <laughs> I'm still not gonna advocate hot dogs, y'all. <laughs> I don't think they're. I don't think they're that good for you. All right. <clears throat> and they have a lot of salt. Um, plan ahead. So create menus. Oh my gosh, this is a lifesaver for time too. If anyone has issues with time and you know creating menus and and kind of making sure everything you have your all your ducks in a row and you're eating healthy things and eight says allow yourself an occasional treat I will totally agree with this they're saying candy bar a handful of potato chips okay that's fine just so you know I can't do that I don't know if you guys can do that that's absolutely awesome that's that's great I, if, I don't know how to be responsible with those foods in my house. So I guess, I guess what I will say is if, if, if you're going to do that, like for me, I would have to do it outside of my house because <laughs> here's a nice story about some candy bars. Um, I went to the dollar store and for Easter, I bought some stuff for Easter baskets and I ate all of it in one sitting, I ate everything. And um, I had to go buy it all again. And then I ate it a second time. And then I decided that I would buy it right before I went over to the people's house that I bought it for. Because that's, yeah, anyway. <laughs> but I will say, with allowing yourself the occasional treat, I do, you know, for those of you who do know, I am writing a cookbook that has healthy treats in it. And there's lots of things that are healthy. Um, and you can change your tastes a bit. And and also I suggest if you want some um, a candy bar or something like that, maybe choose uh, something that's a little less harmful, like that's actually kind of got some good antioxidants, like a, a fruit and nut bar or or a um, like a dark chocolate or something like that. And yeah, it's true a handful of potato chips won't kill you. That's what it says here. But again, I'll put this in the comments below. Um, now I'm going to move on to talking about Dr. Dean Ornish, who is very controversial. Some people are just like, this guy's crazy, but um, he actually has done some really amazing work around heart disease and um, being able to change it in people significantly to where their arteries start. <laughs> My mom, hey, listen to yo mama. Sorry, y'all. I'm not going to say hot dogs are good still. <laughs> I just don't think. Yuck. No, it's fine. I personally don't like them. I understand people do. There's also vegan dogs. There's, you know, there's all kinds of things you can do. It's, you know, I will say it's probably better if you were looking at the ones without nitrates and nitrites. That's true. Um, I just don't think they're, like, on the top of the list of good foods. <laughs> so... That's cool if you guys want to eat them. I'm, ugh. I'm not a hot dog girl. I'm just not into, not into. My mom. It's so funny. My mom's sitting there talking about hot dogs. She goes, hot dogs are floor sweepings. <laughs> Don't you remember that, mom? Anyway, um, you guys, I love you. So Dr. Dean Ornish though would not say anything about eating hot dogs. He would say no hot dogs. He would say barely any avocado. Um, in fact, I recently watched a documentary on, I think it was on YouTube for free. I'm not sure. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the comments too. But in any case, they are just out a bit about, I think maybe it was a TED Talk. No oil at all. No olive oil. And they even get picky around any fat at all, which I am not sure... 
it's one of those things where they're treating people with severe heart disease that is already, gosh, my stomach ache is gone. Yes. That is already running rampant, you know, and the person's already had, some of these people have already had two heart attacks. They, you know, they're like, okay, this is, this is, this is it. Um, I'll go on to say a little bit about, um, you know, genetics. I mean, people, people might have a predisposition to, to things. Um, I, my, my dad has, uh, advanced coronary disease and, um, I know that there's high blood pressure in my family and a lot of my, but I'll tell you that I don't have high blood pressure at all. I don't have, I have low cholesterol. Um, and so I don't know, like I, it's always one of those things. It's like, is it genetic or is it a combination of how you do things? And there are all kinds of cases where, you know, some people have eaten perfect their whole life, nothing ever, you know, and then they get some horrible rare form of cancer or heart disease or something like that. So that happens. Um, but there is a lot you can do. Uh, in general, mostly, there's a lot you can do to um, keep yourself in, in great health. Um, so with Dr. Dean Ornish, he, with this, this specific thing, he has a few books that are great. One's called Spectrum, and it's, it's about how to eat like pretty much everything in, in a manner that keeps you healthy. And another one is specifically about reversing heart disease. So, I will go ahead and link both of those if you're interested in knowing um, about that. Um, and if there's anything else, uh, I do go back through the comments and try to answer people's questions. Um, and um, I will be here again next week. And um, not sure what the subject is going to be yet. It may be... Um, I've had a couple of suggestions. One was the, like what I, about hidden salt, and another one was actually about making cleaning products from uh, natural stuff that you have around your house. Um, so maybe one of those, or maybe it will be something else. I'm not sure yet. If you have any ideas or if there's anything you want to discuss, as always, please post below. I will be here next week, and then we're going to take the next one off. So I'm going to I'm going to do these three times a month. Um, for you all to join in and um, all of us to do our best on our health journeys and figure this out together. So I will see you all next week. Okay.